What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Leave It Where It Lay, which is complete the level 2 betrayals on Legendary without picking up a new weapon. So you gotta do this level with your starting weapons, the plasma pistol, and the trusty shotgun. Uh, this would be really terrible um, if you didn't have that bandana skull, because the plasma pistol obviously runs out of ammo and you can't recharge it or anything. But the fact that we have bandana on uh, negates that and makes it way easier. Because otherwise you'd just be falling back on your shotgun the whole time. Which is good. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, it's not that great long range. So, And also we have unlimited grenades with this uh, skull on, which is awesome. So throw on the bandana skull, start up two betrayals, put it on legendary, and kill all these beginning people. You can let them uh, take each other out for the most part. And then you can just jump in at the end to mop them up. Uh, oh, also when you start the level, just hold the forward button to start off. Because that puts you behind some cover uh, immediately. Because right when the level starts, there's four sentinels shooting at you already. And you're kind of out in the open. But if you hold forward on the joystick, uh, you'll move to some cover. You'll probably get nicked, but you won't, you know, die immediately, which is nice. So... Open this door and throw a couple of plasma grenades in there. Maybe even three. And that will hopefully kill the two elites standing over there. And then you only got to deal with these grunts and jackals. And uh, that cover I was hiding behind, that kind of energy energy shield cover nonsense, uh, you could actually see through. And the aliens, covenant people, cannot see through it. So it's kind of an advantage for you. Uh, if you need health, go up that ramp and just follow it up. You'll spiral around the structure and you'll come to some health. You'll find some uh, new weapons up there, but don't pick those up. I know they're tempting. The all-powerful Magnum. And also a sniper rifle. But we can only handle uh, these toys this time around. So Down here there will be two elites and a ragtag group of jackals and grunts so then you just slide down here once the uh, path is relatively clear if you leave some enemies alive up there they may go to the edge and shoot down at you from above so watch out for that if you leave any alive uh, down here there's two elites they're either going to be right in front of you here or to the left they were to the left this time so I kind of had to wrap around and look at them there's usually a jackal over there. He may or may not come up and say hello. And then you just kind of slide down here. And uh, usually I line up the this tree in front of me with the hatch of the wraith. And usually he uh, totally ignores me until I'm close up to him. Thankfully he uh, he was turned towards me but he did not shoot at me. Which is very nice of him. And that way uh, you could wrap around back to use him as cover from all the other enemies. And you could also shotgun him to death. Um, but don't get too close. You can see I was a little too close than I should have been. And he took down my shield from the explosion of him dying. But that's alright. That's what shields are for, I guess. But if I was clo uh, closer, I would have lost health or perhaps died. I don't know. We'll never know. But anyway, grab that banshee, fly it up here, park it on the right side, never park it on the left side of the door, because that's where your fresh banshee is going to spawn. And you'd rather have that fresh banshee, because if it spawns on top of the uh, your parked banshee, it will just fall off to the ground, which sucks. It's happened to me before where I uh, had a banshee that had one bar of health, and I parked it on the left side, and uh, the fresh Banshee just fell off because there was no room for it, and I was left with my uh, Banshee with one bar of health, and I just died repeatedly because it was actually in the next section, which is way more hostile. But anyway, jump in the beam of light, run past those Sentinels, grab the Banshee, and then head down to this bridge area, this earthy bridge. Kill some people who come out of there. There's two grunts and two elites. Park it. Then hightail it inside 
using your legs. I usually let that grunt pass. He's kind of patrolling. And then I like to assassinate him. Bam. Suck it, grunt. You can hide under these uh, windows if you want. It's not necessary. But uh, I just finished up the achievement guide for look out for the little guys, which is uh, not being able to kill any grunts in this level, which sucks. So I'm very happy I'm doing this guide right now. It's much easier than the other achievement. You can see I'm just going in it willy-nilly without even caring about my health situation. So when you do uh, find your way down towards the right, there are three jackals that spawn in there. One may have already come up, and I may have already killed it with one of the grenades I threw. But you just want to be aware of them, because jackals suck on Legendary in Halo 1. There are quite a few elites in here, too. So you can see the... Yeah, all three are down there. Killed one, two, and then there's a third one to the right over there. Oh, he's backing up. It's all right. We got plenty of grenades. All right, so we're going to move forward, and there's going to be some grunts, jackals, and elites. So you can see I preemptively uh, noob comboed that area. And I fortunately caught one of the elites with it. And then I could just pretty much not have much skill in this whole area and just saturate the area with grenades in place of actually being good. Just uh, be aware of when you're throwing grenades. You don't want it to come back at you. If you throw a grenade and then throw a second grenade, the first grenade will go off and then it might blast back that second grenade you threw right at you, so it might blow up in your face, so watch out for that. At this point, you just want to hang here for a little bit, because there's some combat form flood people fighting some elites up there, so just let them thin each other out. Or you could just run up there willy-nilly. I don't care. Do you think I care? I care a little bit. I'm giving you this guide, I guess, so that's not really... A fair question. But that was a good uh, plasma grenade I had. Killed all the... Whoop. Gold elite. Always forget... I always I forgot about him in my uh, lookout for the little guys. Achievement guide too. I killed him in that video anyway as well. This time around we could throw grenades through this uh, wall. It's not really a wall. It's mostly a wall, but there's some cracks in it, you can see, so. That's where we need to end up going. That's where the door to the exit is, so. Just throw a bunch of grenades over there, thin out the ranks. There's elites in here, and... Over there, in particular, there's a bunch of grunts, and then littered throughout the area, there's a bunch of jackals. Jackals, jackals everywhere. And also, once you clear, uh, clear out enough people, some flood will spawn over there. They'll come out that door we need to go through. We're about to go through it right now. Get out of here, infection form. You saw me phase out there, it's because I died from the stupid sword elite up here. Get out here, jackals. There he is. And again, you could, uh. Ooh, yeah. The elites, when they get stuck on a railing or they're kind of up on something they're not supposed to be up on. They kind of get stuck there. The AI doesn't really know what to do, so it just they just basically stand there. So that's why when I threw that plasma grenade, it stuck to him, and he did not make any effort to uh, get out of the way. Usually they at least try to dive out of the way if they see it coming. 
So those guys are dead. On to the next area. This next area brought to you by Jiffy Peanut Butter. So this area is just full of flood. Get your shotgun ready and your frag grenades. You'll notice I use frag grenades a lot more often, uh, especially when dealing with flood infested areas because they go off much more quickly. Plasma grenade seems to take forever once it hits the ground and comes to a stop. You're like, hmm, I should uh, maybe go get a coffee, maybe a bagel as well. Those two go good together. Dunkin' Donuts knows. I wonder if Dunkin' Donuts sells uh, more bagels or more donuts. That'd be interesting. I think you'd have to discount the fact that they sell a bunch of uh, munchkins as well, because I, I wouldn't count those as donuts. For this particular study, at least. So anyway, we killed Laverne and Shirley, the two elites that spawn there. Uh, you go down this hall, and there's some flood, and you can see I'm just throwing grenades at the end of the hallway here, because there's a rocket flood. Who spawns there? Apparently I killed them a long time ago, but I couldn't tell. And also, why not just throw more grenades? We got an infinite supply. This room is just flood as well. Um, there's health right there to the left of me, to the right of the door when you're walking into it. Uh, you can grab that if you want. Otherwise, just run through here. You can kind of skip that room for the most part. This part's annoying without uh, Magnum. Because you got, well, you'll got you want to take out these Banshees. Otherwise, they'll just take pot shots at you the whole time. Clear out the flood while you're waiting for the Banshee to make another go around. Oh god, here they are. If they're in close, it only takes like two or three shots to kill them. So that's not too bad, but the annoying part is getting them to dive at you. If they're looking at you and shooting at you and coming directly at you and you hide behind cover, they'll just pull up and away, which is annoying. So you got to kind of take some shots to uh, get them to come really close. But if we had the Magnum, we could just uh, shoot them wherever they were on the map. But we can't pick up any other weapons this time around. It's still just the shotgun and the plasma pistol. And our infinite supply of nades. So you can see I'm throwing a bunch of uh, frag grenades here. Into this area because there's four flood combat forms that spawn with rockets. Very scary. Scary stuff. I feel like I'm repeating a lot of the stuff I said earlier because I recorded the Look Out for the Little Guys achievement just this morning. And now I'm doing this level again for this achievement. And it's pretty much the same commentary for the second half because there's no grunts to deal with. And also there's no uh, real other tactical things you got to do to uh, for this particular achievement because you're just, you know, just don't pick up another weapon. That's all you got to do. There might be some uh, skips, though. Some things you could avoid that you'll learn from here. So I guess uh, I might be underselling myself. Maybe not. Maybe I'm overselling myself. You know what? Just, just turn this off. Nah, keep going. Keep watching, though. Seriously, though. Just kidding. Whoa. Didn't mean to uh, perch myself there. What am I, a bugger from Halo 2? Or is that too soon? Too soon. This is Halo 1. Whoa, boy. Coming out of the woodwork. Or the Forerunner work. 
the unknown alien alloy work? You decide. So this room you can pretty much avoid everybody. Just wrap around the outer area to this door. Also, if you get turned around, you'll notice that there's arrows. Okay, let's take uh, the next for this part, just grab this ghost and head on to the left. But you'll notice those arrows uh, along the ground, especially in the interior structures. You want to go in the direction opposite of those arrows if you're uh, if you get lost inside the structures. The reason you're going opposite instead of in the direction of the arrows is because back in the fifth level, Assault on the Controller Room, you were going one way into the, uh, what's it called? Oh, I, fr I forget what it's called. But basically, you're going to the uh, big, scary structure to activate Halo. And uh, so you follow the arrows. But then uh, in this eighth level, you're uh, in two betrayals. You're going in the opposite direction. So I don't know if you've noticed. You may not have. I didn't notice for a little bit in my youth that uh, this is the same exact level, but it's in reverse. So that's why you're going in the opposite direction of the arrows. That took me a long time to explain that very simple concept. I apologize. I guess I have to draw it out a little bit because there's probably some uh, points where there's no commentary. So, I have a, I don't have that much material. I'm not that very interesting. So, i got to, you know, draw things out like an artist. So, obviously, uh, I should have been explaining some of those things. When I bailed out of the ghost, like a minute ago, it's to get that health that was at the bottom of the spiral-ish uh, incline. So I grabbed that, and then I sped up to those banshees, bailed, got in the second banshee immediately, and just went up to this area. That did it. With the bolt generator overloaded. Then clear out this area. There's just a couple sentinels and some flood, a bunch of flood. And then activate the beam thingy, and then a bunch more flood will come out the way you have to uh, leave, which is the way you came in. There won't be any combat forms that spawn behind you, but there will be infection forms. That's what that big blob is. But don't be afraid. They're not the big, big, scary guys. And, uh, again, don't park your Banshee on the left side of the door because you'll have this nice, fresh Banshee for you. Uh, you don't have to shoot this Wraith. As a matter of fact, I recommend you don't shoot it as to not draw attention to yourself. And for what seems like the 500th time, I will explain that you do not want to drive too uh, close to the bottom of this because you'll just get rocketed. Uh, there's a bunch of rocket flood. You can see there's another one. And also, you don't want to uh, you don't want to fly too high because you'll be scraping yourself against the top, and that will slow you down and make you easier to hit. And also, you'll be closer to the ceiling, which will make splash damage against the ceiling more effective against you, even if it's not a direct hit. At this point, I throw a couple grenades to clear out any flood near the door opening, and then I just barrel on in, kill everybody. At that point, it's usually just carrier forms because the combat forms are right near the door opening and die from the grenades. Usually get a checkpoint there after you let all the infection forms kamikaze themselves on your shields. Tried to do a spiffy grenade, failed too soon and too far to the right. I was trying to get it to land right in the middle of this bridge for when those infection forms spawned. I failed. Uh, I don't advise running up to, uh, just running straight at them like I just did, but I guess it worked. But be aware that there's a bunch of flood that spawn at the end of this bridge. And some of them have rockets. So you definitely want to take those guys out. Grab some health. Very rarely there'll be some flood right there where I just looked. Kind of around the corner. Just sitting by this big door. That's only happened to me like once though. But I look every time now. I'm scarred for life. I mean, 
I think anyone would be scarred for life if they came around a corner and there were two flood forms. Like in real life. Can you imagine that? Two flood forms. As you're going around a corner. And they have assault rifles. That'd be even worse. It'd be like terrible if like a tiny kitten had a machine gun pointed at you. It would be cute. It'd be horrifying though too. This uh, this guy's just ugly. Ugly and horrifying. Not good. Not a good combo. No redeeming qualities. So you come up this area and you go to the left and just kind of hide over here. And it will spawn some more flood up beyond these rocks. And they will go to the right towards the Covenant formation. And they will just fight it out. And usually the flood win. Then you just mop them up. And uh, we're going to grab a ghost up there. There's two parked up by where the fight is happening. Otherwise, we'd go grab them now, but they're kind of right in the middle of everything. Uh, the only thing to really be afraid of in this area is the one banshee. Kind of flying around the canyon. There he is. He's probably going to spot us and dive at us and shoot us and just all bad things. There he goes. Whoa, and the shade's coming at us, too. Oh, my. What is this guy doing here? There is never an elite that comes over here. I guess I'm wrong now. I guess there was an elite that went over there once. It sounds like a really terrible storybook that someone wrote. The elite that went to that one place once. By Dr. Seuss. So they really demolished each other over here. Usually there's a bunch of flood left, but there are only a couple. And that rogue elite that just ran away. So grab a ghost. Go past all these people. Be aware that the four people you can see right now, they're all combat forms. They all have rockets. So don't really drive straight at them. And you want to take this uh, jump on the left. Also, you, you want to do it on your first try if you can, because you just lose a lot of style points if you get caught like I did. But you want to do it on the left. You don't want to do it on the right. The left has a rock that you kind of use as a ramp, while the other side does not have that luxury. But just drive straight to the back of the canyon here. And you will come upon these two rocks, which you want to park behind. And uh, you could jump out in the middle if you want right now, but I just like to play it safe. Sometimes, especially when I'm making a guide. And then after a little bit, I'll jump back out there. Just to give the wraiths time to get distracted again. Looks like the one on the right did not get distracted, but at least he didn't shoot us. So that's good. I will say that you won't see the achievement pop. Um, it's weird. I know the Master Chief Collection has been having problems. But it's weird. I'm getting the achievements now. And this is only starting to happen to me just today. It's December 12th, 2014, by the way, when I'm recording this. And uh, I got a few achievements today. And some, well, all of them did not pop. But then when I looked at my achievements in my profile, they were all unlocked today. So I'm not sure why they're not popping up, but they're giving them to me. It's very weird. We don't get that satisfactory pop. But anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe. I hope this helped. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what helped, what didn't help, what I could uh, do better on. Maybe you uh, hate my voice. Maybe I could talk in a different voice. Maybe I'll do a British accent for the next one. Uh, but let me know if you want me to do that. Awesome. See you guys later for the next one.